Bottom tower is under attack. Battle Fury! Hello everybody, my name is Goodboy. And today we're looking at the team fight strategy, a general team fight strategy. So this is one of my teams, zombie scumbags. And you notice the first three picks, two supports and one mid, all have something very good in common, which is they are all very strong in a team fight. So Magnus is our central initiator, hence part of the reason why he needs to go mid with reverse polarity. And then Earthshaker with his fissure and echo slam. And then Jakiro with Ice Path and Pyroclysm can take full advantage of this ability and give you very, very strong action in a team fight. The other two picks um, are the hard carry of Wraith King, who is excellent in the late game. And then Juggernaut also has very good mid game, but are great two carries to go along. Now you notice their team that they've picked, and there's nothing particularly bad about any of the heroes per se, all common in the meta, but no strong team fight. So early in the game, we you know, played as usual. We had an early first blood with uh, Brewmaster, thanks to Magnus. But it was actually at this early phase in the game that Magnus got his first reverse polarity, and then he was cooked by his team. And then with Fissures from Earthshaker, and of course Shakira's burning fires, well, there were a few survivors. Anyway, they decided to come back, and so Magnus blinks in, reverse polarities, and then does exactly the same thing again. As you can see, it's very, very difficult to resist and get killed. But critically, when it comes to winning the game, besides obviously cheeky ganks like a blink dagger and then skewer across to kill the brewmaster, is actually winning that team fight. And you'll see here all four of them teleport in. Now this team is not the brightest of teams, because they're dealing with a Magnus, and they all like to clump together. So we can take advantage of it. Ice Path, Skewer, and there's Fissure, and then Echo Slam for the finish. Wonderful. So with them, with their team wiped out, a full five-man wipe with no deaths on our side, we made quick use of their tower, even though, of course, they fortified it. And that's pretty much how the team fight, a general team fight strategy works. You get to the point where you force a team fight, or you try and bait them into a team fight, and then you push the towers. In many ways, it's similar to push strategy, but it's kind of it has a slightly different emphasis. See here, once again, we've got a good holding everyone in place, continuously disabling and then killing them. I'll tell you what, those three together, Earthshaker, Jakiro, and Magnus, are a force we reckon with. But you do it in phases. You win a team fight, and then you push the tower. Similar to a push strategy. However, there are no other lanes to push. And you don't have to do it as fast. With a push strategy, if you've not got racks down by the first sort of 10, 12 minute mark, you're, you're lo you've lost the game, or you, it's very difficult for you to come back from it. With the team fight strategy, because you have such strong domination in the mid game, there's no rush. And then of course, because in case you're carries, you get out carried, you do a fast finish. And so in this case, as you can see, that we're on the Ancient, none of the other racks are down, and then you win the game. And there you have it, in a nutshell, how to do a team fight strategy. Thanks very much for watching. If you liked the video, please like, subscribe and share. If you would like more guides for this particular hero, including heroes they combo best with, and counterpicking guides, please follow the video links.